everyone. This is Jay Alejandro with the Creative Drive Podcast. I'd like to welcome you to the program, a showcase of poetry and flash fiction by writers from all walks of life. And this week, I'm happy to present single-serving episodes. In recent months, we've received submissions from all over, but these submissions came just in the form of one poem or one piece of short fiction. We hope you enjoy these works, and don't forget to keep sharing your stories, because we need them now more than ever. Luck of the Anger by GX Jupiter Larson The violence smiled at him and he smiled right back at the severity of it all. Fiery explosions sent up huge curmudgeonly plumes of black smoke up over burning blasts of methylamine and ethylamine. The air felt prickly in his lungs. He had seen this happen all before. Electrically charged particles had been blown off wide and far. He was old and pale. He was toothless, and so wore thorns in his blackened mouth. His mouth was full of such spiny protuberances. He kept rose bushes out back so as to have an inexhaustible supply. To hold them in place, he'd push each sharp spine deep into the cavity that once housed the roots of a healthy young tooth. His gums embraced each barb as if it were his very own. They were very much like fangs. He couldn't stop chewing. He'd gnaw all day long, morning, noon, and night. He'd grind them even in his sleep. From the alveolar arches of the jaw, his gums throbbed. The tar-like mucous membrane surged in and out of his mouth. In and out, thickening tissue murmured the scattered. In and out, scraping blows polished the streams. His lungs bit down hard on every breath he took. His blood digested each breath whole, blurring slaps against clustered ripples, wavelengths, and the calculated in axiom gizmo. He remembered what it was like as a younger man, hissings dropping off across paws, stumbles were blowing and knocking, each frequency fleeing the ripple scuttle back and forth. Bursts of pure noise were cascading amongst the crumbling avalanches of carbon dioxide in rivers of dust. His eyes monitored about the room. The wastes and toxins that filled his lungs were splendid incandescent slams. An involuntary spasm reached the edge of bulging bursts through scraped, clenching mucous membranes. He was lying on his bed when he noticed teeth marks on the ceiling. He hadn't noticed them before. He stood up to try to get a better look at them. He couldn't be sure if they were human or animal. He reached to stroke the shallow notches, remembering what it was like to be a younger man. He could hear distant explosions crumble nearby buildings. He naturally assumed that the teeth marks had to be extraterrestrial. He had never seen such odd scratches as these before. He was chewing away, thinking. His neck was sore from leaning up so much. Through his fingertips, the teeth marks tasted like butterscotch. He actually preferred garlic to anything sweet. 